So when I used to go to my dad's house, he always hung out in his office, his computer room. And every time I walk in, he's sitting there at his computer. And I'd see this little white sheet of paper. And it was always there. And on this white sheet of paper, he had listed every single credit card he had, every single interest rate, and what his next payment was going to be for that following month. And these interest rates were 14%. 18%, 25%. And every time, every month, he was worrying about how he was gonna make that next payment. He was taking cash advances on one card and paying the minimum payment on another. And it was this vicious cycle that he could never break. And as the years gone on, like I saw I saw what this did to him. I literally saw my dad age before my eyes and it wore on him and it stressed him out. I never really had the courage to ask him, why? Why are you in debt? Why are you at this point in your life when you just can't take control and figure out to just break the habit? My dad never found that financial freedom. When he finally passed away, he passed away in debt. He actually had borrowed money from me. And the only way he could pay me back was he took out a life insurance policy to pay me back the money that he owed me. That's how bad it was. So when I think about this debt movement, helping people pay off $10 million in 90 days, it's not about a number. The $10 million is just to get you motivated to finally do something, to take some initiative, to feel like you're a part of something, something big. But the reality, it's more than a number. This is about finally taking charge, taking control of your life, and fighting for your financial freedom. A feeling that you probably haven't felt in a really long time. This journey is gonna be hard. It's gonna be extremely difficult. You're gonna to wanna to quit a week into it, a month into it, you're gonna feel like that you could never get a grip. I want to encourage you just to erase all of those thoughts. Just get them out. You can do this. You can finally get rid of that debt. Get rid of that burden that is just on your shoulders, that just wears on you, that stresses you out at your job, that stresses you out with your family, that makes you feel inferior. You can do this. I'm asking you today to join the debt movement. You're not the only one that's struggling with debt. I used to struggle with debt. I had student loans, I had credit cards. It was hard to break through those bad habits, but I finally did. And I tell you, it's the best and greatest feeling ever. Join a community, be a part of something. Take back your financial freedom.